Welcome to Who is Mary Baker Eddy? Mary Baker Eddy is the discoverer and founder of Christian science, and it began back in 1866 with her revelation that healed her from her deathbed. In 1875, she published the first edition of Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures. At the time of her passing in 1910, she was the most famous woman in the world, having started the Christian science movement by herself through healing and saving the lives of countless people. The healings and miracles she performed and the Christian scientists that were taught by her and her early students created a worldwide Christian revolution. Had the Christ come again? Was Mary Baker Eddy the voice of God to the modern world? What happened to the Christian science movement after her passing in 1910? Please visit whoismarybakeretty.com to learn more. Now stay tuned for the reading of another miraculous healing through Christian science. Today I'll be reading from A Century of Christian Science Healing. In 1935, our life was very difficult. My husband and I were both in poor health, which made our dispositions very trying. The doctors whom I consulted said that my nervousness was due to a fibroid tumor and phlebitis, which kept me almost constantly nervous and disquieted. I also suffered from the effects of oditis. From then on, our life seemed hopeless. It was then we found Christian science. A woman whose husband had been healed by Christian science told me about it. At the time, I was incredulous. I could not be persuaded that God really exists. In my ignorance, I laughed, shrugging my shoulders when this woman told me that God would help us. But I was willing to go see a practitioner, drawn by curiosity to learn about Christian science. In the first visit, I was touched by the friendliness of the practitioner, and I felt encouraged to read Science and Health. When I left this lady's office, I already felt relieved, and it seemed to me that life was sweeter. Even then I had begun to forget my desire to end my life. From that time, my health so improved that I am now entirely well. All the troubles diagnosed by the doctors have vanished into nothingness. But my gratitude overflows when I think of the veritable revelation I had one unforgettable July day. This revelation lifted me out of darkness. I was reading Science and Health, and as if a veil had been torn from my eyes, I suddenly understood that truth is God, and that there is only one mind, God, life, spirit, intelligence, substance. From that moment, I read with a heart of love that I might understand God better. And then only I appreciated fully the practitioner's help and consecration which had sustained me all along the way. I must add that a problem involving our business was solved almost miraculously. It seems to me that since I have known of Christian science, all my hopes have been realized. I am infinitely grateful. Miss Ernesta Ravenel, Paris, France. Herald, French Edition, Volume 22, pages 58 through 59. Submitted February 1939.